coach a deal. Give me a big wave. Now, big high five, big high five, big high five. Yes, excellent. Well done, guys. Right, I hope you're all well and keeping safe at home. I would like to welcome you to another online session of Footy First. Now, these sessions are designed so you can do them anywhere in the house, the front room, preferably, or any other room, or even outside. So, pick an area in the house, and parents, please make sure the area is safe, free from any concerns, so the little ones don't get hurt. Please do also remember to have a bottle of water available at all times, so you can stay refreshed and fit and ready for the session. Okay, before we start, I need another high five, guys, so please give me another high five. Yes, brilliant stuff, well done. Okay, now, the session today is all about the hungry caterpillar. I'm sure you've heard it before, but just so if you haven't, there's a caterpillar and it is very hungry, okay? So, we're gonna have a few games. I'm gonna help the caterpillar eat its food. But before we do anything, we must always warm up. Here we go. Warming up. Gonna have everybody's hands up to the sky. Hands up high. Hands up high, hands up really, really high. Hands out wide, wide, wide as you can. Hands in the middle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now, start to move. As you start wiggling, start to move side to side. Side to side, that's it, you got it, you got it. Side to side. Okay, start to move your arms round. Arms round. You got it, keep going, guys. Arms round, arms round. And now, start to lift your knees. Lift your knees, lift your knees. Keep going, keep going. Lift your knees. Excellent, well done. Now, can I have everybody stop? And I now want you to run on the spot. Here we go, on the whistle. Run. Stop. Run, let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. And stop. Great stuff. Well done. Okay, everybody. Touch your head. Touch your nose. Touch your knees. Touch your toes. And now I want a big lift off. Ready? Three, two, one. Big lift off. Excellent, well done. Let's try it one more time. Hands on your head. Hands on your nose. Hands on your knees. Hands on your toes. Get ready. Three, two, one. Lift off. Excellent, well done. That is our warm up all done. Let's shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it, shake it, shake it off. Excellent stuff. Now give me a big high five to get ready. Come on. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. Okay, like I said, today's session is all about the hungry caterpillar. Now, our first game is very similar to a game called What's the Time, Mr. Wolf? But instead, it's called What's the Time, Mr. Caterpillar? So, I'm going to stand here with my back facing you. What you guys need to do is make sure you stand at the end of the room. And I'm gonna say some numbers in the form of clocks. So, for example, I'll say, well, you'll say, what's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? And I will say, it's two o'clock. That means you've got to walk two steps towards me, okay? All right, let's try a little practice run. So, you guys will say what? What's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? Two o'clock. So you walk two steps. Then you say again, What's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? Five o'clock. And then you walk five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll say, 
What's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? Three o'clock. And you walk three steps. But when I turn around, you got to run back to the wall or back to mum and daddy quick as possible, okay? That was a practice game. Let's get ready. Okay, real thing, real thing now. Make sure you're at the end of the other room. Right, what do you have to say? What's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? Two o'clock. Walk two steps. What's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? Four o'clock. Ooh, get ready. Okay, and again. What's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? Three o'clock. Good, well done. Three steps. What do you say now? What's the time, Mr. Caterpillar? Dinner time! Run, 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 run. Ha, ha, ha. Brilliant stuff. Very quick feet, I can see. Well done, guys. Brilliant job. Okay, now it's time for our second game. Okay, the second game is all about collecting food for the caterpillar. Now we need to collect the right food and put it in the right area so the caterpillar can eat all of its food. So for this game, I'm gonna use some cones. Now you can use your toys, you can use some pillows, you can use other objects in the house which are user friendly, so child friendly. Now what we need to do is place them around the room, but you must make sure that they go in the correct area. So for example, all my yellow cones that I collect, that will be here. I'm gonna put all my yellow cones there. My green cones, I'm gonna put all my green cones there. And my red cones, all my red cones there. Now, because we're playing a game all about food, and it's for the hungry caterpillar. My yellow is gonna be sweet corn, all the sweet corn. My greens are gonna be my green beans, green beans. And the red, or oh, one of my favorites is gonna be strawberries, okay? So you can name all of your foods. You can have them out in the different areas of the room. I'm now gonna spread out all the other foods around the room. Different areas, different areas. Now, here's the twist, okay? As you're collecting the food, you've got to be very careful because at some point, I'm going to blow the whistle and that means the caterpillar is coming to ruin it. The caterpillar is coming to ruin all of these food and we must make sure we get it in the right area for the caterpillar. So. If I blow the whistle while you are collecting the food, you'll go down to the floor. Down to the floor. Okay, so be very quiet so the caterpillar doesn't see what we're doing. So, remember, when you hear the whistle, it means you've got to go down to the floor and wait for the caterpillar to go. Okay, who's ready? If you're ready, give me a hi. Five, high five, high five, high five, high five. Yes. Okay, I've got my areas ready. You've got your areas ready. Let's try this at home. Ready guys? Three, two, one, go! Collect the food, collect the food. Right, let's go. Gone, he's gone. Let's carry on, carry on. Okay. It's all good, guys. He's gone. Carry on, carry on.
done. Let's check. I've got all my strawberries in the pile. Excellent. I've got all my green beans in the pile. And I've got all my yellow sweet corn in the pile. Well done, guys. Give me another high five. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Excellent. Well done, guys. Brilliant job. Gosh, I've been having so much fun that I am so thirsty. It's time for a drink break drink break guys so grab your water make sure you got it and take a quick sip quick drink and we'll come back and play some more games so i'm gonna have a quick drink you gotta have a quick drink quick 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 and make sure you have just enough to replenish and hydrate the body okay so if you've had a quick drink give me a Another high five. Here we go. Brilliant stuff. Well done. Okay. It's now time for skill time. Excellent. So if you've got a football, a little football, or if you can use a pillow or any type of soft ball in the house, it's time now for some skill time. Everybody, put this on top of your head. Twist it round. Go, Nino, Nino, Nino. Nino, Nino, Nino. Roll it down to your nose and go beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Roll it down to your chin and go rip it, rip it. And roll it down to your tummies. And this time I want you to try, roll it around using both hands. Go around your waist and bring it back. Who can do that? Try this at home. Excellent. Now balance it in one hand. And I'm going to do a little throw and catch with two hands. Let's try that again. Little throw, catch with two hands. Let's try that again. Little throw, catch with two hands. Now, to challenge yourselves, guys, try it with just one hand. Just one. Little throw, little catch. Little throw, little catch. Little throw, little catch. Well done, guys. That's really good. Now, try this one. I want to see your balance skills. Try this at home. Hands out wide like an aeroplane. Excellent. Good job. Try your other foot. Try your other foot. Good. Now, I want you to switch fast as you can. So it's going to go from one foot to the other. Ready? Go. Good. Very good. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Let's go faster. Switch, 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 switch. And slow. Switch, switch, switch. Good balance and good coordination, guys. Well done. And oh, nearly got away from me, but I got it. Right, it's time to score some goals. So, for now, our third game, third game is now time to jump over the caterpillar and score a goal. So, you can use a laundry basket or I'm going to use a goal for this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay out our caterpillar. Caterpillar, I want you to have a green head. There we go. Red body. And then a bit of yellow in the body. And then a bit more red. And a bit more green. Be creative. Be creative, guys, okay? Right. Put my football at one end here near the goal. All I've got to do is jump over the caterpillar and score a goal. Big goal, okay? You ready, guys? I will give you 10 seconds to set up. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's time. Get ready, guys. Okay, here we go. We have a nice run up, okay? Uh, you can start at the end of the room, you can start at the door, you can start in another room and follow your parent's hand, follow your parent's direction and jump over the caterpillar and score a big goal. Okay guys, here's how it's done. I'm going to have a go. Ready? Three, two, one. Try this at home. <laughs> go! It's your turn. Okay, well done. 
big high five if you've done that. Excellent, well done. Tidy up time, don't forget as well guys, make sure it's tidy up time. So have all your equipment that you use, all your toys and everything, make sure you've got it all in one. Put it all together and make sure we tidy up because it's very, very important and it's very good if we always tidy up at the end. So be good boys and girls and make sure you tidy up. Now, a surprise for you guys, because it's not over yet, we have Miss P. Miss P is going to have a special activity for you guys. So grab a pen, grab a paper, because we're going to learn more about the Hungry Caterpillar. Hope you enjoyed this session, and I hope you enjoy the next activity, and make sure you have a great time. I'll see you guys next week, so give me a big High five! Oh, and don't forget, send all your video clips, all of your progress and everything that you've been doing in this session to the link below. Me and Coach Ruben would love to see how you guys are getting on. All right, over to you, Miss P. Hello, everybody. I hope that you're all doing really well and staying safe at home. Today, I've got an activity for you, and we are going to be making a story map of the very hungry caterpillar. So, the caterpillar first starts off as a little egg on a leaf and then turns itself into a caterpillar after a few days. And on Monday, he was very, very hungry, so he decided to eat through one apple. And on Tuesday, he was still so hungry, so he decided to eat through two pears. One, two, two pears. And on Wednesday, he was still so very hungry, so he decided to eat through three plums. One, two, three. And on Thursday, he was still so very hungry, so he decided to eat through four strawberries. Count with me, everybody. One, two, three, four. Four strawberries. And on Friday, he was still so very hungry, so he decided to eat through five oranges. Count with me, everybody. One, two, three, four, five. And on Saturday, he was still so very hungry, so he decided to eat through one slice of cake, one ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one salami, one lollipop, one sausage, one cupcake, and one watermelon. And that night, the very hungry caterpillar was very full and had a really bad stomachache. The next morning he woke up and he ate through one delicious green leaf and he felt much happier. And then after a few days he decided to make a home for himself called a cocoon. So he wrapped himself around and then after a few weeks he turned into a big beautiful butterfly and he was much Happier. And now it's your turn to try doing a story map with your parents. Go!